Hey guys, it's time I'll show you another CW replay. Got this one, it's a Pekka Yeti Smash. The thing is with this base, it's very compact. And it's a hybrid bait because there's four X-Balls and CC and all that stuff. That's a heavy damage area, especially with the King next to Town Hall as well. So we use a Warden Walk instead. Siege for exit. Nine. Some test of farms pops up at eleven. The thing, do you know this base is actually a common base? So, so with three multi fillers, smash armies work well because with smash armies, uh, they t they are more resilient to multi fillers. Unfortunately, the hogs get wiped out quick. Because the multi infernals decimate the hogs pretty quickly. Unfortunately, some of the troops are kind of going in different directions, but the peck is still surviving and going on strong. The thing with the peck of Yeti Smash, it shines when a lot of the heavy defenses are like next to each other or very close. And so you can get a lot of value with your rages and stuff, so. That's one thing to consider. And then, yeah. This is smashed. One made is a 3 star. Number one. Uh, one on walk to funnel. Number two. Other side to funnel is to use Siege Barracks. And then push your main army into the base with Cod Quake. The thing with the Cod Quake, it opened up the entire core and damaged a lot of the Expo farm. So that was a... And that was a lot of health gone in the core because uh, earthquake damages buildings, not just open walls, but damages buildings as well. That's a lot of heavy expo area in the core and the scar and the CC and all that stuff. A lot of health saved. And then just pushing and using spells where needed because with in multi infernals, smash armies work well. And the thing with the smash armies, you need to take up queen up troops because they can be slow and you may time out. Anyway, that's why it's a 3 star. Thank you for watching and peace out.